Hello. In this video, we're going to take a moment and address an issue that some of you have come up against, and that's in terms of displaying a health bar when using a GUI pop-up. So I have a little bit of code here, and as you can see, we have a main method right here, and in the main method we declare an integer called health, and then we invoke this method called display health, and we pass as an argument the health value. So down below we can see the definition of the health display health method and we print out the word health and then we use a loop and that loop goes from 0 to less than h which represents the player's health and prints out a star every time. So right now we can see health is, is valued at 10 if I run this down here in our console we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stars. So perhaps when you're playing your game you have some sort of interaction and the player loses some health And so they, they lose two bars of health, so you can call display health again and path health. And we run this, and we see the change then in our health bar. Now this is great if we're, if we're using the console, but we've actually started using GUI, um, so pop-ups. And the challenge with the GUI pop-up is that we need to actually construct a string before we actually display the GUI, because with, with the, the console, we display the stars, and we display one star, and then we display another star, and then we display another star. When you're using a GUI, which is a graphical user interface, the pop-up comes up all at once. It has to know exactly how many stars before that pop-up is created in order, to, in order to know what to put in there. So we're going to modify this display health slightly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a string. I'm going to call my string S, and we're going to initialize it to the word health with a colon and a space. So now, as opposed to printing out a star each time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a self-referencing assignment statement. So remember, what that is is an assignment statement that includes that includes the actual variable itself. So if we say S is equal to S plus star, what we're doing is we're taking what exists in S and we're tacking a star on the end. So now, what we could do is if we do system.out.println S at the end of this method right here, we run, we run this, you'll see it works exactly the same. The difference is, is that we're, as opposed to printing out each star, we're constructing the string and then we're printing out the string after we're done. In doing this, we can now use this string variable s with a GUI. So I can do now j option pane dot show message dialog. Right now our, our component is null. We don't really need to know too much about what this does. Um, and then here we put s. Now I have this because I haven't actually imported this class yet. And remember, a class, you can think of it like a toolbox, and it has a whole bunch of methods that are pre-written that you can use. So we're going to import J option pane. And now when I run this, I get a health bar as a GUI display, which works well in context to the new assignment we're doing, which is all with pop-up windows. So we see the health bar is at 10, and then the health bar is at 8. So what this highlights, again, is this idea of constructing a string before actually displaying it, which is something you have to do when you're dealing with a GUI interface. I hope this video helped.